Okay. So, can one of you tell me how you're responding to these pictures? How do these pictures make you feel? It makes you feel happy. Happy? Yeah. Okay. Why does it make you feel happy? Because you it's think nice you feel seeing people like they all have smiles on their face. Well, except the middle one, because you're the person, but the girl with a smile and then there's the boy on the left. Mm -hmm. Good. How does it make you feel? Yeah, power of having animals near you, whether, like obviously that horse isn't hers, right? It's like a, they can actually bring miniature horses into hospitals and, and meet them. So it's not like it's even her own animal and look at that effect that it has, right? All right, do you want to tell me how the relationship is with your pets at home? How do they make you feel? So lots of comfort and it was fun getting to know the different sides of him and okay. Me and my dog, we had an inseparable bond. Like she did everything with me, everything. So like I went to the bathroom without her and she threw a fit outside the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like everything. And you have a big old smile on your face and I can even tell even though she has a mask on, right? Just mm -hmm. even reflecting on those times with the animals, right? Yeah. Um, have you guys ever heard stories about like something major between an animal and a person? What was your story, Hannah? Um, well, I saw this documentary, um, of like a girl that had to go to Jamie's Caesar a lot, and then turned out when she yeah. was about to have a seizure, yeah. a seizure so that she could be safe. And I'm sure it gave her even more peace of mind, right? Yeah. That she could actually go places knowing that she could get to a safe spot yeah. to have her seizure. It also like helped her family because like they wanted to allow her to like really interact with the dog, um, like a normal like, like pet, like real pet person, but also like helped the family um, because they Good. Yeah, so even that um, having a service animal helping the family, you know, I'm sure they have some peace of mind knowing that um, their son or daughter can get to a safe place to have a seizure. You know, it's not like the dog is going to take away the seizures, right. yeah. but it can help her lead a more normal life for sure. Um, I have a couple books here, um, and you guys are welcome to borrow them at any time. Um, this is a good one, Alex and Me is about an African gray parrot. It was like the smartest bird known to man. It can like add and subtract and the vocabulary that it had was amazing. So the, the owner, she was actually like doing research as far as like that kind of training and figuring out how smart the bird is. So what started as a research project turned into like a, a beautiful relationship with the bird. It says, you be good, I love you were Alex's final words to his owner, research scientist Irene Pepperberg, before his premature death at age 31. This one is a good one. This is um, about a dog who was adopted at an old age by her, and she adopted it knowing that the dog had cancer, a malignant tumor, so she knew it was gonna spread but when she adopted that dog, she thought she was healthy as a clam and it turns out she had cancer too. So they went through cancer together. Um, this one was a story about a border collie um, and I think they were in New York and it was just about this border collie um, helping the owner kind of find himself and find what he needed in life. This one, is short stories. There's like a million, some are like a page long, some are a couple pages long, um, but it's all stories about how animals were able to intervene and help people out in some way or another. Um, one of, I think the most 
interesting, I guess, stories that I have about the human-animal bond was, I don't know where I read it or saw it, it might have been a documentary, but there was a nursing home and they had a cat and this cat was just like, I don't know, a typical cat, didn't really love anyone, it just kind of wandered around and kind of kept to itself and it would, might let you pet it a little bit, but it never loved going up to people. And the nurses in this facility started to notice that if one of the residents was about to pass away, the cat was always there, always. And it was like a day or so before, and the cat would never go into the rooms unless that person was about to pass away. So it got so like concrete that this cat knew it was gonna happen that they actually used that cat to know that the human was going to pass away and they would call the, the family members to come in and say goodbye. And it was like 100% accurate that that human was about to pass away. I mean, I just thought that was phenomenal to have a cat that doesn't even really like people. You know, it's not like it would wander in the rooms. It specifically went in almost like to say goodbye to that resident and therefore gave the, the family members an opportunity to say goodbye. So you can borrow those books from me anytime. Um, we're gonna save the VCPR, so if you haven't filled out those four little bubbles, you can do that, we'll talk about it tomorrow. But what I do wanna do is have you read an article it's actually one of my favorite articles uh, to read. I think you guys will like it too. It's a journal article on a study of the human-animal bond. So it, it's a little bit long. I think it's like 10 pages. And you're like, oh my gosh. But it tells scientific facts about what animals provide for us. So we've talked about like the warm and fuzzies, right? They make us feel good. But this is gonna take it a step further. How does it physically help you? So it's gonna talk about blood pressure. It's gonna talk about lowering your heart rate, your respiratory rate. It's gonna help about the mental state of us. So if you think of like ADHD students and having access to a dog, like even having Rocky in the classroom, I think when you have like a, a maybe a tense moment or you're stressed about something, even being able to go up to him or Finley or whoever it might be, whoever your animal is that you, you enjoy the most in this shop is just, right? Okay. Um, it's also going to talk about diseases like Alzheimer's and how do animals help with that. So I think it's a really interesting article. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, what I want you to do with it is a summarizing worksheet. Have I had you do this yet? Does that look familiar? Mm -hmm. Oh, then it's probably for this. Okay, so if I gave it to you in your pile. So this is called a summarizing strategy. And what it is is you're just going to put your name, the resource. You can just put Moodle is fine. And then put the article name. Okay. You're gonna read through the article and you're gonna give me three vocabulary words that you did not know. Maybe you had to look them up. So a word that you didn't know, three of them. And then three big, huge ideas. So don't do something real specific. Do three big ideas and then use those to talk about the article, okay? So what I'm looking for is that you have the three words, that you have three big ideas, and then for your summary, did it describe the, the article, you know, um, did you use correct spelling and punctuation, so take your time, look up words if you need to. Um, so that is how you were going to show me that you read the article. All right. Yes, it's under level one material, human-animal bond.
that's the article and then that paper. And then are you guys still working on your zoonotic stuff? You might be done already. We have the case study, which was the half sheet. Did that one make sense? Writing a story and you're gonna guide the class through the questions. No, you can read right off the paper. No, it's no big deal. It's just a review for us. And then the other is however you wanted to put it was that zoonotic poster. So that was a different disease. A um, Little bit more in depth research on it. And we're gonna post that around the room and have a review that way. Those are due for you when, when did I say those were due? Wednesday. Wednesday, that sounds right. Okay, so Wednesday. You guys can give me those, right?